Hello everyone and welcome back for your returning. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, hello and welcome and I really hope you do come back. I really do. So thank you to all my new subscribers and to all my regular subscribers. Thank you for all the love you give me in comments. I really am, I really am blown away. I can't tell you how, how fortunate I feel to have made virtual acquaintances with so many of you. I feel like I know so many of you already. You just you tell me your stories, you email me and speak to me about things. And it's just, I've just been truly, truly overwhelmed by the love. So thank you so much. I appreciate you all very much. Um, so um, anyone who hasn't seen one of my videos before, sorry, I lost track of where I was going there. Anyone who's never seen one of my videos before, I am a seer, so I tap into past, present and future energies. I'm a psychic medium, a clairvoyant and a healer. And I'm also an open channel for spirit, so whatever comes through, comes through. So most of my readings right now are twin flame related because I am a twin myself. So this is a very crucial time for twin flames. Um, there's a lot of twins who are coming into very close to coming into union. So I think this is what I'm supposed to be doing for now helping to guide the twins back towards each other and give the twins hope for their union in the future. So chances are, if you've found this channel, you are a twin, about to meet your twin flame, or already in some sort of established twin flame connection. So I will start my readings as I always do. I call in my beautiful ancestors, my spirit guides, the archangels of love and light, and the ascended masters of the highest pure divine light. I call you in now for your love, guidance and protection throughout this reading for the collective. Thank you. Archangel Michael, please surround this reading. My children, my dog, my home and myself in a golden bubble of God's protection at all times as I bring forward this message to the collective. May I ask that you surround anyone who watches this reading online, surrounding them, their loved ones, their home and their pets in a golden bubble of God's protection also. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Archangel Metatron, can I please ask that you stabilise the connection between myself and spirit at this time, ensuring that only clear and concise messages can come through for the collective and for their highest and greatest good at all times. Thank you, Archangel Metatron. Sending my love, light and gratitude to you all always. And so it is. My wind time's going mad outside, sorry about that. Okay. I'm going to do my three chimes and then I've got something, I'm, I'm doing something a bit different tonight um, and I'll tell you about it in a moment, but let me do my chimes first. I'm just clearing the energy of the room and taking my three deep breaths in to help me connect with the divine. Okay. Right, so tonight I am beginning with my past life oracle deck and I'll explain why. Um, those of you that watched my last reading, which um, it was um, Divine Masculine and Intense Healing Phase after being trapped as a caretaker in a family dynamic, that was my last reading. Now I recorded that last night and um, it wouldn't load at all. Um, so I knew at that point it was a very, when there's the, it was like there was something stopping uploading. So I was persistent because I was told this message has to go out. It took all night to load. Um, now I knew at that point, because if you've watched that reading, anyone who watched the reading will see I was feeling a very powerful energy throughout. Now I feel um, 
that the masculine was very connected to Lord Jesus. I felt Lord Jesus had a very strong um, connection to the masculine. I was um, feeling the energy of last night. And I also felt the masculine had was very stressed and anxious, but had sort of health issues as well. Um, and I'd kind of, sort of picked up on, you know, kind of breathing problems, sort of lung issues and things like that. Things that I really mentioned throughout the reading, but I knew he was like, I felt he was very stressed, overworked, um, very burdened with whatever his care duties or whatever his role was in someone's life. Um, so if, during last night's message, I picked up on um, a St Aloysius. Now, I'd heard St Aloysius during my meditation as well. And um, and during the reading, my last reading, I picked up on St Aloysius again. Now, I, St Aloysius, I, I, I'm completely honest, I'd never heard of that name until last night. I mean, um, I've, I connect with quite a few of the, the Ascended Masters, St Francis of Assisi and St Germain and other Ascended Masters, but I'd never heard of St Aloysius. Um, but I just thought maybe St Aloysius was somebody who was working with the masculine. Um, so when I stopped reading last night, I thought I'm going to do a bit of research here to discover a wee bit more about St Aloysius and who St Aloysius is. So I discovered St Aloysius um, was an Italian, he was an Italian um, aristocrat. He should have become a, a Mar, is it Marquis? I think it's Marquis. Um, it, but he turned away his inheritance because he joined the Society of Jesus um, and he actually wanted to become a priest, but his family tried to stop it. And so I read all about St. Francis and he, so the masculine from last reading, I believe, was St. Aloysius in a past life. Not only was he St. Aloysius in a past life, I think he could have been one of Jesus' disciples in a past life as well. Um, because St. Aloysius, he died at the age of 23 and he died being a caretaker to people who had the plague. He became very ill himself. He had um, pulmonary, pulmonary issues and kidney problems. And the masculine I picked up on last night was having those kind of health conditions as well. Um, Cause I was getting struggling to breathe sometimes and things too. And I just put it down to anxiety. So, so this, so the masculine in last night's reading, and I'm saying that you can feel free to skip the reading, tonight's reading if you want. But this is just for anyone who resonated with that um, reading yesterday for their masculine. If your masculine has some sort of connections to Italy, Rome, um, particularly Madrid, um, they're very strong in their faith. But this masculine last night, now St Aloysius was told not to, not to care for the sick because he would become sick himself. He'd already taken his vows of um, sort of celibacy, poverty, and um, obedience to God. And he was warned that if he cared for the people who had the plague, he would, he would become sick himself. But he insisted on in being a caregiver to, to these, younger, um, these younger people who had the plague. He wanted to be, to be there to care for them and be a caregiver. So I had actually goosebumps when I read that um, St Aloysius had died being a caregiver and last night's reading was all about this masculine feeling guilty about giving up his caregiving role um, to find his own happiness. So that's why I feel Lord Jesus so present last night in the reading. And this, this masculine now, is he is so important to Jesus. He is so important to the work that's going to be taking place throughout the world, to the healing work. And that's why God had to step in and basically make sure this masculine went through his awakening and his healing process. Um, so there we go. So and tonight I picked up on gladiator energy. Um, I heard Julius Caesar, so I don't know if this is around the time of 
Julius Caesar um, and the song Freedom by George Michael came through so I knew that it was about freedom and we never get the gladiator um, and um, yeah so there's something to do with freedom somebody is now free but this is also sort of gladiator energy so I think somebody so I'm actually starting with my past life deck so we're starting things back to front tonight I'm going to have a dig in here to the past life of this connection or this um, person who came through in meditation for me so we're doing things a bit different and if you've already clicked off fair enough <laughs> but we're doing it we will get to the tag in a moment but I just want to, so this is, if you're interested in past lives, we're going to do it back to front tonight. So let me see. Um, can you give me the past life energies of the twin flame connection that you want to focus on tonight, please? And thank you. And I've also got my Akashic card, so we'll have a, we'll have a real, a real check-in. Okay. Medicine man or woman. Imprisonment or slavery. So I was picking up on, yes, yeah, somebody who had been enslaved um, as well. So definitely somebody, somebody who has very good, very, very good, very um, powerful healing gift here as well. They, they like to help other people. So this is somebody who, now this is somebody who can run from situations because they don't like to be trapped they don't like to feel like they're stuck or entrapped in any way karmic relationship so there's somebody here who yeah somebody here can run from commitment and stuff like that because they don't like being entrapped or but there's also a karmic connection here from past lives um, that's come back around in this lifetime. So let me see a bit more here. Can you give me a bit more past life information on this persecution and inquisition? So... Persecution and inquisition. Somebody was persecuted and enslaved here. Now, I think it could have been somebody who, this is somebody who is very powerful. Somebody who is highly, who is in very high honour in the 9D, 9th dimension. So, this is somebody who connects with the elementals as well. Um... Somebody here was imprisoned or enslaved because they had healing gifts, Celtic. So somebody has Celtic heritage here. Now, always when I get this, I always think of the Druids and things like that who were, you know, they were healers and things like that. Um, but somebody, I believe, here was, now they could have been, um, they could have been persecuted and enslaved by a karmic in past lives here um, for their healing gifts now. Because obviously you see this now, people misunderstood, people who were healers, who, you know, they used certain things, certain tools. Um, yeah, because this is what I was getting, sort of Native American feel here with the medicine man or woman. This could have been somebody that they they wrongly persecuted for being a witch, but they were just a healer. They were a medicine man or woman. They were a healer of some kind. They've definitely got some sort of Celtic heritage as well. So this masculine could have Celtic roots. Um, communal living again. So there's a lot. To do with, I mean, communal living can be a lot of things. It can just be a huge family, you know, living in a huge family situation. But it can also be somebody who enjoys kind of living out and kind of that kind of um, 
the the free the sort of free style of living in tents and things like that. You know, you see a lot of these communal living where they sort of like living in caravan parks with kind of wigwams and stuff. Um, but this this can be somebody. This might be somebody who just really enjoys the outdoors. They might have been used to um this kind of this kind of um lifestyle and past lives. Because whenever I get the Celtic card in this, this always reminds me of the way the clans lived. Um, I mean, the clans of Scotland, they lived in the hills, they lived they lived in huge groups. I mean, some clans had hundreds of, um, hundreds of members of certain clans and they lived all in, like, you know, on hillsides and things, in ruins, in ruin, ruined buildings and stuff. Um, so let me see here. What else can you tell me about the masculine that I was getting the gladiator energy from? What else can you tell me about this masculine? So, a lot of wisdom, Celtic connections. He could have always had an urge to, to get to Scotland or Ireland or um, something like that. Um, now, this could have been the feminine who was um persecuted as well let me see so well so atlantis in the bottom so now this card comes out very is very interesting cause because today we are in the winter solstice and 22nd of december is also an, an atlantis portal so anyone who has connections to atlantis will probably feel their gifts a lot stronger, their intuitive gifts a lot stronger, you know, their dreams might be coming in a bit more. And then we have trees and galactic. So this is a star seed um that's coming through here. Mm -hmm. This is a star seed who is connected to Mother Gaia. Could be some sort of earth warrior as well. There, you know, this sort of um, I'm getting sort of tree nymph energy. Yeah, somebody is very connected to nature. They're a star seed connection to Atlantis. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get some tarot in a moment to find out a bit more about this masculine or feminine. But I do believe we're we're looking at a masculine here, but it could be going to be a bit about the feminine as well. Yeah, so the, all these cards fell out, but I wasn't going to take them all, but they're saying to take, right, so everything up to unrequited love. So Asia, so that can be Japan, but also I feel this is like sort of Bali, Lemuria energy as well. Um... Any of those kind of, um, yeah, sort of Southeast Asia places as Lemuria and things for me. Um, this masculine was someone's spouse, probably his divine feminine, wars and battles. So this, I did feel that this masculine has fought a lot in wars and battles, Greco-Roman time. So that was, I was getting that gladiator energy and the sort of Julius Caesar reference came through and the arts. So this masculine was very skilled in the arts as well. Oh, again, that's too many. Blessings and blessings and baby. So there could be a spirit baby here as well from this marriage in past lives um or this masculine was a very important baby at one stage um but let, let's see so yeah so that's interesting so this masculine he is a star seed um he fought in many battles and wars he could have been falsely enslaved due to a karmic connection egypt This masculine goes, this masculine is a very, very old soul. 
and I suspect his counterpart is too. Is both these counterparts, can you give me a card for both these counterparts, for where their connection lies? Both the counterparts here in this twin flame connection. Can you tell me about both the counterparts in this twin flame connection? Mm -hmm. I just keep on hearing disciple. High priest and high priestess, trust and faith. And they're made some man or woman. They were both, yeah, they were both um, powerful healers. High priest and priestess energy. And they've always, all in all, past lives have always had trust and faith in the most high. Mm -hmm. So they're both high priest and high priestess energy. Can you tell me um what is there anything else that connects these twins together? Please and thank you. So they're both healers. Both high priest and high priestess. I just keep, yeah they they're telling me disciples, disciple. Or the masculine is this, so this could be another, um, this could be a, another disciple, this masculine that's, uh, who I feel is going through an awakening right now, let me see. Courageous. <laughs> Courageous and then the wars and battles card came out. Oh my nose, this. That's, they're telling me this. The masculine who's going through an awakening right now is, has been dealing with battles in the TV as well. Mother. And ships. So this masculine. He could like boats, he could like to travel on boats, he could like to, he could like to, um, he could just have a fascination with boats, he could want to have own his own boat one day. Hmm. Right, I'll get some towel and then I'll get the Akashic card soon. I'm, I'm aware I don't want to keep this too long when we're already 20 minutes. Because, um, and I appreciate the person that said my readings are too long, we are too long, but I just... I have to deliver the message in its entirety and sometimes I'm just, I don't, I, I can't rush anything. Um, everything has to be, um, I like I like the full message to come through and I like to know what the outcome is going to be as well. But I understand they are long, so I do not get offended for anyone who switches off. I know that the people who um, it resonates with will watch it all and the people who just enjoy watching my readings in general, which I do appreciate, so thank you. Okay, can I get some can I get some cards for this the three D of this connection, please? We've done a bit of past life digging in, so let's see now how the, the let's see how the three D matches up with the past lives here. So can you tell me please a wee bit about this twin flame couple? Who there was definitely a lot of persecution and wars and battles. But they're both very powerful. Um, nine of Cups Wish Fulfillment Oh my goodness Someone is getting Wish Fulfillment After Basically Working on their shadow side Somebody has been doing the work on their shadow side after being very very stuck in their head somebody has actually been doing the work on their shadow side now so that's good they're getting wish fulfillment for doing the work on their shadow side and that's what we all have to do right we're all we're all used to that part so so let me see can you tell me a bit more about who this was doing work on their shadow side Ok, 
Okay. Four of Cups. Four of Cups and Nine of Wands. Somebody was basically just fighting. They were refusing to give in to love. Now, this is just tells me they were very much stuck in their ego. They were... They were, they were basically... They were basically fighting against love. They were fighting against giving in to a love connection here. Now, when I had the past life cards out, I did feel that somebody felt trapped. Somebody feels like love can be a trap or if they love, it traps them or they become a slave to love. <laughs> slave to love. So I don't know if in the past this masculine had a karmic relationship with someone that they loved and that karmic betrayed them and got them enslaved or got them imprisoned or something. So that masculine now associates love in some way with entrapment. And the masculine has been really in his head here because he, he has not wanted to give up on his determination to turn away from love. But he has been working on this. He's been working on his shadow side so he can get out of this energy and stop fighting. <laughs> stop resisting his, um, stop resisting the Ace of Cups here with someone. Now let me see. Yeah, he was very deceptive. Now look, we've got Seven of Cups right behind that. All to do with illusions and confusion. So there was something. Now, I did hear the masculine has been in the Knight of Wands. So, the masculine has been fighting battles, but I think they're spiritual battles. I mean, he's probably been arguing with people in the 3D as well, but I feel like he has been spiritually, because if you look at this card, it's like sometimes it's fears that, that can't be seen. So, the masculine is like, see how there's a girl sitting there and the masculine's kind of like, ugh. This somebody wanted to keep this masculine afraid of love, too scared to commit. And I think they were using um, whatever jiggery pokery they could to stop this. Now, this is also a very powerful masculine again. He's obviously very connected. He's very tapped in. Um, or at least he, he will be now. He wasn't when all this was going on. But yeah, look, star. This masculine is a star seed, but he's also getting wish fulfillment. There's a new cycle coming in for him in love. <laughs> With divine love. And look, he's coming in now. With He's coming in with some sort of um, apology. I'm hearing confession of love. Confession of love. He hasn't told someone that he loves them. Because I think he felt if he says, I love you, then he would be trapped. High priest on the bottom. That's masculine. Yeah, he's he was scared. Oh my goodness, he's a pentacles and the sun. This masculine is getting a completely he's getting a new life I feel he's getting a new life he's getting blessed for doing the shadow work here but I want to know who he is um I want to know who he is coming forward to here so let me see who is this now as I say it can can be man or woman it's just a divine masculine energy so take it as it resonates because you know even in past lives we've all been masculine feminine throughout um, past lives as well so um so just, just take it as it is, isn't it? <laughs> oh, so he regrets breaking his feminine's heart. He is in deep regret. That's why he had to do the shadow work, because, like, Ten of Pentacles at the bottom, he, oh, he regrets breaking um, someone's heart here. Who did this masculine break the heart off here? Who did this masculine... Who did this masculine break the heart off here? Who did this masculine? He 
he just refused to admit he loved someone. But I feel like he was under spiritual warfare of some kind um, to keep him in a Knight of Wands energy and to block his heart chakra. I mean, yeah. Yeah, he's like, he's coming in now to speak his truth. He wants to speak his truth. He wants his passionate new beginning. He could, it could be a, a air sign. It could be a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but let me see. Um, who is this King of Swords? Who is this King of Swords, High Priest energy, wanting to come towards now with this Ace of Pentacles? Who's, who does this, who does this masculine want to come in with Ace of Pentacles towards, please? My cards are really, they're like so full of um, energy tonight. They're all like want to come out the deck at once. Um, can you tell me please, who did this King of Swords High Priest energy want to? Okay. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness. So Queen of Cups. So he wants to come towards the, a woman who is loving, kind and compassionate and Sweet, a sweet, loving person. She could be a, she could be a water sign as well. Um, I'll get sorry, my my necklaces are all tangled up when I go in the shower. Sorry. Um. So he was he was stuck. Um, deciding which action to take here, which way to go. Again, as I say, I feel like he was under spiritual warfare of some kind, keeping him from making a commitment to his feminine in the past. Um, he was kind of confused about where to where to offer his commitment or where to go um king of wands and temperance so this could be a sagittarius but this is just telling me this um masculine he is very passionate and motivated now he's ready to take action and i do feel like he's been completely guided here by archangel michael um i feel like everything this mask that's going on with this masculine has been angelically guided now um, but he has been going through some sort of healing process. But he is ready to take action. Now, I mean, the King of Swords is coming in to speak his truth. He is now ready to take action. He has a high priest energy. Um, and he, I do feel he, he might even be coming in on Earth Angel energy as well. So he went silent. He wanted to be single. He abandoned his twin flame connection. He went silent into this silent healing phase and he said he wanted to be remain single and his knight of wands energy um but i do feel as i say he was under some sort of spiritual warfare look death card transformation um tell me what this this masculine wants to come towards this queen of cups to offer her now that he's gone through his transformation energy here tell me what this masculine is now coming towards his wheel of fortune so this is all destined and there we go knight of cups and page of pentacles and this is all destined to happen this is good fortune good karma coming in as well the universe is guiding this the masculine is walking away walking away from yeah he's basically walking away from from um avoiding his emotions walking away from his player ways um, but he's coming in here with a romantic offer and to bring this page of pentacles offer and to basically to to try and rebuild a connection here. Um, can you tell me um, what else this masculine wants to come towards his feminine to tell her now and to express what he wants for the future? Yeah, I, there was definitely something holding this. Now, as I say, he he has working on his shadow side, but I do feel he was held back by because the fact they said you know he's been dealing with battles in the three D, but I'm not actually picking up any physical um, interferences here, which makes me think it was all um, it was all spiritual warfare. Um, mind manipulation and keeping him stuck and um, blockages in his heart chakra and stuff like that 
Um, <laughs> this is a past life connection, as we know. So this this is a couple um, that we're this is a couple who were married in past lives. Definitely married in past lives. Past life reunion energy. Yeah, he wants he wants to reunite with the spouse from his past. Strength. Real energy. Let me see here. Can you tell me what else this masculine wants? He wants to have a past life reunion with the, the woman he loves. But can you tell me what else this masculine hopes for when he returns? of pentacles he wants them to move into this collaboration work together be partners for life i mean i do feel that these two not only were they married in past lives i do feel that they have a very important mission here um and just when i said important mission i heard missionary missionaries communal living missionaries who may be working with people in different missionaries around the world Helping people in communal livings look for, um, who are dealing with missionaries. Missionaries. They may be going to um, build kind of um, some some sort of missions around the world to for people. And that's the truth. <laughs> Yay! Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. So this couple are not only powerful love connection, this, they are going to be very powerful missionaries in the world as well. Um, oh, my goodness, that is amazing. So they're healers. They're high priest and high priestess energy. I'm getting communication as well because Archangel Gabriel is here. Communication, so they're going to be public speaking. Mm -hmm. The chariot. Things are moving, progressing. Cancer energy. So this masculine, a tower in his life brought on by God, divine intervention um, to wake this masculine up from his spiritual, oh, from his spiritual attacks. Um, but the masculine also had to clear out karma here. But I do believe that him and this feminine have good karma coming towards him as well. But it was a, a tower, um, so Scorpio and Cancer energy again. It was a tower that woke this masculine up. And then I think he had to clear out karma and heal before he could return to his feminine. And then more cancer energy. And the magician in the bottom. There was definitely a lot of illusions put over this masculine. Spiritual attacks and illusions put over this masculine. Mm -hmm. Definitely walking away from, because look, they have cups with behind the magician. He's definitely walking away from any illusions. Sorry, I'm just listening to guidance here. Empress, Six of Wands. Give me a couple more cards and I'll go into Mother Deck. Hmm. This is a this is a beautiful reading. It's interesting, very beautiful, but um 
So <laughs> there's a high priestess. So we definitely have the counterparts here. And both are using their intuition now, which is even better. But this masculine, I, I, I was getting that a minute ago. When I saw the, the magician and the moon, illusions were put over this masculine about his twin flame union. About who he was to be with. Who his happiness was. So the illusions were to keep this masculine, his heart chakra blocked, him blind from the truth. Blind of, you know, who his who his divine counterpart was that he was supposed to reunite with um, and basically marry. So let me see. And if they don't marry, oh, <laughs> yeah. Look, the masculine, he went through a complete awakening. Whatever these illusions and the spiritual warfare, it actually woke the masculine up because God, as I say, God came in and he was like, okay, enough's enough. You're not going to wake up on your own, so I'm just going to have to do it for you. So God came in and gave this masculine a good old, a good old shake him to wake him moment with the tower. Um, but yeah, this masculine is definitely, it could be an Aquarius as well, but illusions to block it. But he is now, I'll just, um, I'll get some other cards. But he's definitely, I feel he's definitely, the chariot was there, so he's definitely moving towards his feminine now. Um, and we had nine, nine of cups and first card out and the card from a split the deck. So this is definitely wish fulfillment coming in for this masculine. And knight of cups again. He definitely is coming in with a romantic offer here. And I did see, and look, page of cups. He's definitely coming in with some sort of apology and confession of love. Definitely. Oops. King of Pentacles there as well, so he could be coming in, you know, it's very stable with a stable offer here for long term. That's kind of hubby um energy coming through the magician on the bottom as well. So he could be in his magician energy when I split the deck. Look, two of cups. So he does want a love partnership. Um yeah, and there's the Empress as well. Hermit. So the masculine's bit went through the dark night of the soul. And it's just the Knight of Cups again. So he is coming in. He wants this love partnership. He wants this collaboration. Queen of Wands. Um, so we've had the King and Queen of Wands as well. So that's definitely powerful counterparts. I'll get some Zodiac signs quickly. Um, let me see. Hey. So there we go. Infinite, infinite love. So this is an unbreakable bond. An Aquarius, I said I felt Aquarius energy with a star. Wish fulfillment. So this masculine, I do believe, stepped out of his twin flame connection because he was under spiritual warfare to stay in this night of wands energy. So he may have cheated on his feminine. Um, again, all divinely guided to, to wake this masculine up. Um, any other zodiac signs, please? Yeah, I made the wrong choice. We know. <laughs> we know you did. Um, let's see. This mask is definitely the powerful star seed, though, because I'm hearing. Um, star language in my head. I bet I keep hearing it. Mm. We are free. That's what all I keep hearing. We are free. Cancer. Yeah, I kept on feeling Cancerian energy. And Olive Branch, of course. The, the good old Olive Branch is coming. Oops. <laughs> and abundance. I feel that there's wish fulfillment and um, some sort of material wealth coming in here. Um, anything else? So we've got Cancer and Aquarius. Anything else, please, for this same couple? So there was a third party interference here. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be, it says love triangle, but sometimes that just means the masculine's own um, 
but in this sense, it can be the masculine's own behaviour pattern and stuff. But I do think there was a third party here you doing spiritual warfare on the masculine. Now, who that was, I'm unsure. Um, it could have been anyone. <laughs> it could have been family. It could have been um, toxic friend group. It could have been an ex. So twin flame and the ascension card. So this twin flame couple is ascending right now. Blessing coming in. I love seeing the blessing card. Communication's about to come in for those um twin flame um couple here. This is communication coming in. There's a conversation about to be had. Heart healing and Archangel Raphael's card right behind that. So I, I did feel this masculine had a heart chakra blockage. He was under spiritual warfare and had some sort of heart chakra blockage. Um any other zodiac signs, please? Yeah, don't give up. The master, I don't think, will give up. <laughs> he's ready. He's coming out fighting, I think, here to win back his... This could... this. Remember we had the arts in the past life as well? So this could be a very creative couple who who are both very, um, very into arts of any kind. So that can be, you know, like theatre, um, the art, literal art music um so yeah they could be a very creative couple but i do feel they're going to be missionaries archangel michael of course um this is a very protected connection love yourself first so yeah i'm hearing so much it's, um Star language, and it's just I keep on hearing um, they're basically saying children, children of the sun. I think children of the sun. Now you're free, or now they're free. Children of the creator. Let's get a romance angel. I feel like I'm listening a lot tonight, so I do apologise. <laughs> Retreat in past life relationships. So this masculine has definitely had to go within a lot right now. Um, what time are we I'm just checking because I'm very aware of the time and I'm so sorry. Time just flies for me. I know for you guys watching it probably takes ages, but I, I feel like I don't have enough time to get the messages out someday. <laughs> time just seems to fly by so, so quickly. Can I get a romance angel for this connection, please? Can I get a romance angel for this connection? Then I'll get a quick Akashic card and then a song and a crystal card if we have time. Romantic feelings are being stirred at this time. So this masculine definitely hid his emotions. He refused to open up to his romantic side, but we had the Knight of Cups twice, so he's definitely coming in romantic now. Keep an open mind, so if you... Yeah, that, I think this masculine's coming in a bit different now as well. It's what I get. Playful. Now, if this masculine was non-romantic, very straight-laced, very cold, composed, you know, he didn't really... If this masculine was non-emotional, non-romantic, and very cold towards you, he's coming in playful and romantic. And keep an open mind because you're probably going to be quite shocked by the transformation that's taken place in this masculine. This is true love. <laughs> oh my goodness. I get that card actually. <laughs> it melts me in. Oh my goodness. I love when I get true love. Oh, I love that card so much. Just said this is a romance of a lifetime. Oh, I love that. Oh. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Make the effort and go ahead and express your love. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this, this masculine and feminine, I believe, are very protected because they are very, very important. Um, love yourself first, of course, of course. You always have to love yourself first because that's what magnetizes your person back. Give me one more and then I will move on to the Akashic card. Free yourself. So this is all about taking your power back. And I do believe that's what this masculine had to do. He was he was stuck in a repetitive cycle, um, not been, not opening up to his emotions. Yeah, heart to heart conversation, and flirt. <laughs> there's been a bit of flirting going on. I like it. Um, so, but there's definitely going to be. I felt that the conversation card came out. So there is going to be some sort of conversation here. Um, and I think your masculine wants to be completely the opposite to what he was when you first connected with him. He was cold and non-emotional um, and I think he's going to completely surprise you now in the fact that like, engagement and reconciliation when I split the deck. He, he's definitely going to shock you, I think, in the transformation that he's made um, over himself. So. I think he really is going to be, give you give you a surprise here. Uh, I opened the deck to commitment as well. I got Hilario on the bottom, but that was already in the bottom where I started shuffling. Hilario is an ascended master who works with very um, scientific minded people who have got a mission for, you know, like to do with you know, discovering things, sort of scientific research and things like that. Hilarion is very involved in those kind of um, divine purposes. So the treasure and Hilarion still on the bottom. Well, let me see. Okay. The deck there. Yeah, well, wisdom and mind. So very, very powerful. When this card comes out, that is like an ascended master energy. Um... So this masculine could very well be an ascended master as well. Okay, one more shuffle and then we'll, let's get some information. Can I get some information on the masculine here, please? Can you give me some information on the masculine from past lives or his purpose in the commitment card way to come out? This, this commitment, this twin flame union is going to change so many people's lives. When this masculine, the Oracle of Delphi, this masculine is a very powerful high priest. He, the Oracle of Delphi is a powerful psychic who can foresee things, deliver messages, a bit, you know, they have seer abilities. They can literally hear, um, they're, a, they're an oracle. They can deliver messages from um, other realms, other beings. The, uh, yeah, this masculine is a very powerful oracle of some kind, psychic, high priest. Um, can I get a few more cards for the masculine, please? So, look, the chess game. Now, I saw a chessboard during meditation earlier. Somebody was very, now this is somebody in the masculine's community. Somebody in the masculine's environment was very strategic in keeping this masculine stuck. And that's what I was getting right from the start. Um, somebody was purposely keeping this masculine from opening up his emotions, keeping him stuck in a Knight of Wands energy, being non-committal, wanting to stay in a sort of Nine of Pentacles energy, young, free and single. Um, but somebody in the masculine community was was doing this. So that just tells me what somebody the masculine knows. Somebody around the masculine. Um, definitely. Um, can you give me a bit more detail about the, the masculine here and his current situation and his past situation and his purpose? So for commitment to be the first card to come out. So the master artisan. So then this masculine has is very talented at something. Um, 
He has a lot of knowledge and wisdom as well. This masculine is very talented at something. Now, it can be anything. It could be to do with the arts. It could be to do with public speaking. It could be to do with all of the above. Um, but he is, whatever talent this masculine has, he's going to actually make a fortune from it. Um, I feel that is what's going to, it's going to bring him the, so the Ark of the Covenant, the masculine has got some sort of contract or deal coming in, some sort of legal documentation. <sighs> something to release funds maybe, or something to, could be a contract to do with his career. This masculine definitely has some sort of documentation to look at or sign, some sort of contract possibly. Diversity. So the masculine, this is all about the masculine being now opening up to other ways of thinking, other ways of believing, other people. Like maybe this masculine was quite judgmental in the past. He might even have been quite judgmental of spiritual people. He might have just thought, oh, they were all in the ascent. Like the masculine is definitely ascending. Um, he may have been quite judgmental of people in the past, like, you know, especially spiritual people. Like... They all talk about, you know, their, their Reiki, you know. So, so the masculine might have been quite judgmental. Now, the King of Keys, I did get the masculine was quite a cold energy at one stage. Now, the King of Keys is kind of like the King of Swords, very logical, doesn't really show his emotions, keeps his cards close to his chest. I mean, the masculine could have been playing a bit of a chess game himself here. Um, now, I keep on, I, I saw the category and then I saw the scribe. So this masculine could be a writer. He definitely knew community. Now, this is all through the soul tribe, but I did feel there was people in the masculine community that was putting them under spiritual attack. So there's definitely some sort of community effort here to hold this masculine back. It could be a toxic family. Or it could be a king of keys, because I have the king of roses and the king of keys. But there could be some, it could be... Yeah, there was, look, there was some sudden change here, dramatic event that made this masculine change course very quickly. This is, this is like a sudden, a very, no, it's, it's kind of even more severe than a tower. Because um, this is something that happens, like you almost see it coming, but you can't stop it. And so something happened here, the masculine made some sort of discovery that he kind of knew it was going to happen, but, or somebody knew that it was going to happen. But look, now this card, how is, now this card just means something sudden happened that actually brings in a new beginning. So this is something sudden that causes an end to a situation that was no longer doing any good. And then when I split the deck, we got birth, which means something ended here suddenly in this masculine's life in order for him to come into a new beginning. So that's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. So, and Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is definitely side by side with this masculine as well. Giving him strength, giving him confidence, giving him, giving him the strength to move into his purpose, first and foremost. But I do believe his commitment with his feminine is part of his purpose because together they are, they have a divine purpose together. The king of forces, yeah, this masculine is very tapped into nature. We had the trees in the past life as well. And wishes fulfilled. Oh my goodness. Can you tell me a wee bit about the feminine before I move on to... So it just says, the, so this is to do with um, conflict. So the masculine was definitely dealing with conflict of some kind. He was definitely dealing with conflict. Um, and generally it's in, in a family. This is this is um, family rivalry and conflict within a family dynamic and trying to find a peaceful resolution. So this was, I think it could have been the masculine's own family here that was involved in stopping him moving into a connection with his divine feminine. So on track. So the feminine is definitely on track here. She's, I think the feminine's been waiting to choose a path for a while now. Um, and she's been waiting on the masculine, two worlds. Yeah, two worlds is all about the feminine. Um, the feminine's sort of been stuck 
between waiting on our masculine and ascending without them. I feel that. Um, and that card keeps wanting to come out, so I'll just take it out. And um, Uriel and the Sphinx card. So the feminine and the masculine both had to. This is all about going through your shadow side to get to the light. So both twins here have had to face their shadow. They've had to really go within. They've had to, you know, it's... It's kind of going into the darkness in order to find the light because both twins have had to go through dark times here in order to reach this powerful um, energy here. So the War of the Roses card is here in Archangel Michael with the feminine as well. So the feminine um, definitely, the, the feminine and the masculine both have, could have been at loggerheads due to whatever the family did here or as I say this... Um, could have been to do with past lives as well. But there was definitely some sort of disagreement between the masculine and feminine energy. Probably because the masculine said he would, he would refuse to commit maybe, but, but Archangel Michael is here with the feminine too. This was a fated meeting between these twins. Um, and it could have happened, like say for example, somebody could have said, I have never set foot in this bookshop before. Fancy meeting, you know, it could have been some, you could have met your twin through in a place where you could have met your twin in a place where they've never set foot in it before or you've never it could have been somewhere brand new to you or brand new to them like i'm just hearing someone saying oh i've never set foot in this place before fancy you know meeting someone like you or whatever but it's something like that um there was some sort of fated meeting between you and your twin and even now you look back and you think i you know it was so crazy how we met King of Keys wanting to come back out again. and So this is for the feminine. The feminine is basically, the, the incredible moon brings in everything. It brings in power, abundance, basically joy and bliss and happiness. So the feminine is getting, and the feminine is definitely some sort of ascended master as well. And Archangel Michael card come out again. So the feminine is definitely very powerful um, wise soul as well both very powerful um yeah the feminine i believe she's very tapped in too so let me see anything else before i move on to my song deck because i've got a crystal i better got a crystal first so yeah the masculine look the ego so the masculine was definitely in his ego here he was definitely in his ego Paths unknown. He didn't know which path to, to take because he was stuck in his ego. He was, that's two of, two of wands energy. He he didn't know which path to take, but now he's just trusting that he doesn't know where he's going now. He doesn't know where he's going, but he knows that he's been led by the divine now. So he doesn't know where he's, he was stuck with which path to take because of his ego, but now he's also just letting the divine guide him down his path. He doesn't know where he's going yet, but he just knows he's going somewhere and he is definitely ascending. So he's, this tells me he's on the path to ascension at this point after being stuck in his ego. Um, so yeah, an Akashic Library again and Scribe card. So this, this masculine definitely could be a writer. Um, because you, you know to have the arts and things like that in past lives as well and then to, so he could be some sort of writer so i'll get a crystal card for the masculine so crystal card for the masculine first so yeah opened it regeneration and cognizance. So the, the 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 masculine is definitely regenerating. He's and the cognizance is just to do with family, um, family programming. So the masculine may be trying to break out of that. That's why I was getting the kind of um about the family in my head for some reason. So let's see the card for the masculine. Deep knowing. Oh, I love this card. And it is sunstone, and that's for the sacral chakra. So the masculine definitely could have had some sort of blockage in his sacral as well. Because I know he had a heart chakra blockage, 
but he definitely could have it. So the sunstone, um, I don't. Even, oh yeah, I do have some sunstone, but I've got raw sunstone. Um, but sunstone is a is a beautiful crystal as well to work with, especially, um, if you, if you are a Leo like me, um, sunstone. Oh my nose is switchy now. Um, oh my goodness, my nose is itchy. Um, but yeah, the the sunstone is a really good, uh, stone to work with. So the masculine, so sunstone for the masculine. Any other crystals? Now I've got a quick song to finish. So, intuition. Wow, aquamarine. And I've got on my aquamarine bracelet as well. Aquamarine is a very uh, good crystal for anyone who has got connections to Atlantis to wear. Um, it really helps um, boost your intuition. And that's um, the water element. Yeah, exactly. So if you've got connections to Atlantis, um, aquamarine is a really good stone to wear. And I've got um, crystal quartz as well to help with my intuition. And this is Amazonite is a beautiful crystal to wear um, to balance out your masculine and feminine energies. So that's they're all good to wear. So it's moonstone, aquamarine, clear quartz and Amazonite. Um, it helps with your intuition and balance your masculine and feminine. And I've got one from a heart chakra here, which is Mosa Gate and citrine for clarity, and my amethyst for protection. And this is um, aventurine, I think this one is as well. So I, I, I work with so many crystals and they're beautiful to work with. So I can't recommend enough. If you feel drawn to buy a crystal, get it, because it really does help to balance out your energies. Um, can I get a crystal for the feminine, please? So that's aquamarine and sunstone for the masculine. For the feminine, so she has consciousness and it's lapis lazuli. So the feminine is reaching high levels of consciousness now. So this is um, the lapis lazuli or lapis lazuli, whatever you want to say. Um, th that's very much to do with Archangel Michael as well. So this is, the feminine is now reaching, It's that helps your intuition as well, but it helps raise your consciousness and your awareness of the 5D and above. So the feminine's been told to get that crystal. That's amazing. Any other crystal for the feminine? So transcendence. Oh my, these two cards alone for the feminine. This tells me the feminine is ascending so high. Like she is, her, her levels of wisdom is off the charts. And moonstone. So I got Moonstone for the Feminine the last day as well. So there's Moonstone there. So it's your, the Feminine has been told Lapis Lazuli and Moonstone um, will help you with your ascension symptoms and will also help your intuition and will help with the transition from leaving, um, you know, from moving up through the different dimensions and things. But that, that's amazing. So Sunstone and Aquamarine for the Masculine. And we know he has Atlantis roots, um, Atlantis past lives. And the, the feminine probably does too, but she's been told to use moonstone and lapis lazuli um, or lapis lazuli, whatever you want to say. Everyone has different ways of saying it, don't they? So that's, that's amazing. I love those crystal cards. Right, let's get a song to finish. Let's get a song to finish out. Oh, that one came out very fast. Don't rain in my parade. So when this this couple come back together nothing is going to rain on their parade ever again nothing is going to bring them down um so free falling by tom petty so that's just tell me that's like when you jump out a plane and you just you're free falling without before you pull your parachute so the masculine is very much in this energy now he's just free falling and allowing allowing the divine to guide him can't fight this feeling anymore. So this masculine has been fighting his feelings very, very much so. Um, I don't want to fight no more. See, he's the masculine has he's been fighting his emotions because he was under spiritual attack. But this this is a divine union that is going to change the world. And I'm talking about they're they're they're, they're going to be missionaries of some kind who are going to. Maybe, as I say, going to maybe build missions around the world or something. 
Karasono Yarasata Mayarasa Karasono Yarasata Yara Karasono Yarasata Yarasokara There's there stars, both star seeds, both powerful star seeds, both free, both free. <laughs> oh my goodness, rise up. I feel that this, this couple are literally getting more and more powerful. Always remember us this way, so the masculine cannot forget. He cannot forget the the good times you both shared, and I feel like he's deep deeply in regret now for not um opening up opening up sooner. <sighs> Horny. <laughs> I'm not going to talk too much about that, but yeah, the masculine's definitely he's he's excited to see you again. Let's put it that way, or if you're the masculine, wink wink. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, both both these twins are free now. Feeling good. So springtime. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. So yeah, something's happening in the springtime. Michael Bubbly feeling good. And the, so spring and summer are going to be very, very important to this twin flame couple next year. Something has happened because I just got the spring and summer cards back to back. So springtime and the summertime next year is going to be very, very important for some reason. My destiny, the masculine knows now that you're his destiny. Can't take my eyes off of you. <laughs> he can't take his eyes off you. He, um, he's, he's watching his feminine intently here. Probably energetically or might even be on social media or something, but... So there we have it, and I've not managed to make it any shorter, so I did try. <laughs> But um, I did try. And then um, thank you to, I had and sexual healing at the bottom, hubba hubba. So I did, um, and thank you to, I had some beautiful, I had some beautiful um, light beings here tonight who was, they were talking to me all through. Um, so thank you to them for all being here. And I can literally feel my air star pulsing under my feet. But um, Thank you to them for being here. This was a very powerful reading tonight. Again, I'm so blessed that um, they trust me to deliver these beautiful messages and I hope they find who they're supposed to get to. But, um, but thank you all once again for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for everything you do to, to make me feel so welcome on YouTube. I, I mean, honestly, I say that because it so, took me a long time to pluck up the courage to do this. So being able to do this is something that it took me such a, a long time to pluck up the crowd to do. But the fact you are all so lovely and give me so much love, I'm just truly grateful. So thank you so much. And I send love and light to all of you. And take care, have a lovely day or night, wherever you are in the world. And I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye now.